Who is Governor Kay Ivey? I'm going to read her bio to you, and then we're going to talk a little bit about who she is. Ivy served as the 38th Alabama State Treasurer from 2003 to 2011. She then became the 30th Lieutenant Governor of Alabama, serving from January 2011 until Robert J. Bentley resigned on October the 10th of 2017 in the aftermath of a sex scandal. So she fell into the position. She beat Walter Maddox in the 2018 Alabama election to complete her full term. Ivy is the first woman to be an Alabama governor since Lurleen Wallace, who succeeded her husband, George Wallace, in 1967. Ivy was born an only child to Broadman Nettles Ivy and Barbara Ivy. The family had been in Alabama for many generations as her ancestor, Ann Johnson Nettles, Riley was one of several slave owners, Nettles in the state. So Governor K. Ivey, relatives, ancestors, actually owned slaves. Not surprising because Alabama is that type of state. So I'm not surprised. But again, this is the reason why I want to talk about Kay Ivey. She, within the last week or so, has actually signed off to dismantle DEI in the state of Alabama. We had a lot of students here in the state that actually protested against her signing this bill to make it in law. But it is a travesty because it blows my mind because I don't understand how people can just turn these bills and these acts just off, just like that. They were in place for a reason. Someone felt like there was a need for these acts, these laws to be a law because everyone don't have a fair advantage. That's just the bottom line. They don't. Other races don't have fair advantages. We know this. But for her to just quickly do this, to sign off on this, it just blows my mind. It just lets you know what type of person she is. But for her to quickly do this, it's just mind blowing. It lets me know that she is the type of person don't care about other races of people. And that's just the bottom line. Governor Kay Ivey doing COVID-19 took the money that was allocated to the state to do what she needed to do, hopefully for the people of the state of Alabama. What she did with that money was to build prisons. That's the main thing that she did was to build prisons in the state of Alabama. The state of Alabama don't need more prisons. That was something to me that was not really mandatory and that it was something that was really meant to be done. And then she took a little money to allocate out to the people of the state of Alabama with that little money that they gave single people $150 and married people $350. But she took the bulk of that money and put it into building prisons. Who does that? Who does that? For that to be the main priority for her to do that for the state of Alabama, she could have took that money and did other things for the state, education, roads, hell, even the lottery. They don't even want to get the lottery here. You know, it's so ridiculous. But they can quickly sign off on things like this very quickly. It just lets you know that their minds are on other things other than the right things. They want to do things that's going to keep people down. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about Kay Ivey and who she is as an individual person. Like I said, I don't know her. I don't think she care for any other race of people. Thank you guys so much for being here. Again, if you think you may enjoy this type of content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share this video. And if you enjoyed this video, check out my next video and I will see you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Bye-bye.